Okay, I'm sure you guys have arrived at a point where you were exhausted on the limitedness of the lines types or the line styles Revit offered you by default. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you exactly how to create your own custom type of lines in Autodex Revit. So you could use it for more versatile presentation and more versatile techniques in Autodex Revit. So if you haven't done so, make sure this is the video you hit the subscribe button. Also hit the notification bell to get notified once we release new videos. Hit the like button and like this video, share it with your friends because it's helpful and with that out of the way, we're going to jump right into the main content of this video. Alright, so usually in Revit, if you want to create some lines, you could just go to annotate and you could click on detail line. So once you've clicked on this detail line, if you click on this drop down icon, you're going to see an area of line types. You're going to see the wide lines, thin lines, overhead lines, and so on. So if you draw the wide lines, you're going to see the wide line. If you draw the thin line, you're going to see a thinner line. Okay, but we want more range. We want more variations in this thing. We want to be able to do whatever we want. So let's delete these two lines and create our own custom lines. To do that, we're simply going to go under this manage tab. We're going to click on this drop down icon under additional settings. Then we're just going to click on line styles. So once we click on line styles, we're just going to click on create new. So let's name this new line, new line one. Okay, so once you've given this new line a name, we are going to click OK. So you are going to look at this column here and you are going to see all the parameters you can edit. Let's say we want the new line thickness to be very thick. I want it to, the thickness to be at 10. Then I want the color of the line to be blue. I could just click on this color and I could change it from red to from black to blue. Let me just make sure it's blue. Click OK. Then I'm going to change this. I can change the line pattern whether I want it to be a solid continuous line or a dashed line. Let me just create a dashed line and I'm going to click OK. So now if I go back to annotate again and I go to an um, detail line. So if I click on this drop down icon, I'm not going to see this new line I created. So let me just click it and draw it. So you can see I've just created a new type of line. OK, so let's do another example one more time. So let's go to a manage under this manage additional line. You are going to click on line styles. So we're just going to click on click on new. Let's call this one new line two. OK, then we're just going to click OK. Okay, I renamed it new line one. Let me make sure it's new line two. So I'm just going to click OK. So now I'm going to change this thickness to let's say seven and I'm going to change the color to red. After changing the color to red, I'm just going to click on this solid and I'm going to change it to center six millimeters and I'm going to click apply and I'm going to click OK. So now I'm just going to go back to annotate. I'm going to go to detail line. Then I'm going to click on this and I'm going to see it under this options new line two. So I'm just going to draw a hexagonal shape with it. So as you can see, so as you can see, you could see I could you could use this and create any kind of line you want in your presentations. You could do a lot of stuff with it, and it's just helpful overall as a beam professional and as a presenter. If, if this video was helpful, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to our channel for more content like this, hit the notification bell to get notified once we release new videos because we do that on a weekly basis. And without thought of the way, I'm going to wish you a goodbye to the next video.